Step number seven, the mandrel. So I like using a mandrel. It is a way to have a very consistent neck size and therefore a neck tension. I use a 21st century mandrel and have been very happy with its consistency. Again, I find SDs and group sizes are better when using a mandrel. It tends to be better off to size from the inside of the brass rather than the outside of the brass. If you size from the outside of the brass, then the thickness of the brass could have an impact on uh, how much neck tension is on your bullet. Is it absolutely crucial for shooting PRS? Probably not, but I like to make the best rounds I can so I know that the misses are all my fault. Process is a pretty simple method of using the zero press with the mandrel die in. Simply run the brass through, throw it in a bin, move on to the next step. But let me show you a little bit uh, up close about how I set up the zero press to do this better. All right, so we finished using the sizing die in the zero press and we're gonna move over to the mandrel die, which is right next to it. So I just need to unlock the turret, move it over, lock it back till it clicks. Easy enough. Now, I also like to adjust the handle so with sizing, I like it all the way out to get as much leverage as possible. But I like it a little shorter and easier and quicker to move it by shortening it up. I got a little mark on the side here that says where it will clear in the back. And that's how I like to set it up. It's a nice, easy pull uh, compared to up higher. It's a little bit more work to, to pull the lever. So now that is set up and we can start working on some brass. So it's all about simply taking a piece of brass, throwing it in, moving on. So that's all it takes to run your brass through the mandrel die um, and size the inside of the neck uh, consistently. And as soon as I run through the rest of this brass, we will move on to the next step, which is trimming the brass.